After this little introduction, let's now dive into the Content Brief Builder of Thru and with a focus today on the Content Outline Editor. You will see that you can easily scan your competitors, see all the headings structure, click on the H1, H2 or H3 and add them to your brief. Also, the Thru Content Outline Editors will display the most frequent headings used by your competitor and as well the most frequent questions used in their content. So now let's have a look together. So I just created a new brief um, for the keyword creating content brief and my template only contains uh, the outline element. We focus on the outline today. So what you can see first is a suggestion coming from through. Through is analyzing your competitor, analyzing the SERP uh, and all uh, the headings of your competitor and then it suggests um, outline structure for your article. But feel free to adapt that and I really recommend to adapt that. But as you can see already, it gives us some indication what could be a nice structure, starting with what is a content brief, then why are content brief important, how to write a content brief, how beneficial are they for your agency. I don't want to speak about this topic in my article, so I can remove that. When to use it for a blog, no. Maybe giving some examples could be interesting, yes. This is not really good, so I remove, and then, yes, I, there will be a conclusion. So already, uh, thanks to this suggestion or content outline idea, uh, yeah, it gave me already like some uh, good feeling about how to write my content. But what is great is that you can click on this button, see competitors outline, and then you will have a new view where you see uh, on the uh, right all the competitor and you can really quickly browse their structure and also by the way if you want to be focused on this view you can just click here on display outlines only and then you will see all the outlines and like this you can really browse and start to judge how your own content should be organized then the idea will be to start notifying interesting uh, headings and you click on them and they will be added to the content outline on the on the left also it's a rich text editor so what you can do is you can change anything you can change the headings you can also add more content if you want to give some instruction to your writer right but i will remove that now i would like to show you something else as well so here you can see all the computer competitors outlines of course, I only uh, analyze 10 results, but if, you, if there is more, you can as well display all the SERP and uh, up to 100 uh, results. If you click on the H1, here you can see only the H1. So quite interesting uh, to have a focus view again uh, and to make the best H1. So here I will maybe, yes, use this one or to create an effective content brief. I don't want to have three stage and I will put that at the top. Then also another view is that you can display the most frequent headings used. So through is uh, grouping the most frequent headings and here you can see that what's the content brief has been used 11 times. So almost every article are using these headings with what is a content brief. Then you have a content brief example, how to write a content brief, competition, target, customer, final source, SEO. So you can see the most important topics uh, uh, used by your competitor. So if I want, for instance, why are content brief important or how to write a content brief, maybe here I can start adding some information like uh, what should be inside. Let's say you speak about your competitor, target customer, uh, internal links, CTA, keywords, content lens. So here I already I have some ID for how to write a content brief. I will suggest to add this element. It will be H3. So you can see how to write a content brief or I will call it what to include in your content brief. So here you can see that I already find uh, interesting elements to include in the content brief and yeah i have h3 uh, structure now for for this outline finally also you can go here and click on the most frequent questions so here it's similar to the most frequent headings but it only displays the questions found in headings and again really great information 
uh, to build your outline. For instance, we'll use quantum brief. So maybe we'll use quantum brief. I can put uh, that here as a kind of topic and say to my writer uh, something like, I won't use it as headings, but I will say, uh, explain, explain who use quantum brief. And I will give you an example like uh, content marketer, SEO, writer, etc. So you can see you can easily in a few minutes uh, create interesting uh, content outline by just looking at your competitor. Of course, then when it's done, what you can do is you can share it. So you can share that uh, directly with a public uh, link. So I will open it uh, in a new tab. So you can see here you have your outline and you have the H1, H2 structure, H3, H3 and also some information that I provided directly to my writer. The writer can directly copy that, uh, copy the structure and start, I don't know, creating content directly in Google uh, Doc or, 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 or Microsoft Doc. You can also export uh, the, out the outline as a doc. And you as well on your side, you can uh, here export everything as a doc. I don't know if you want just to work from the doc file and add more information. So as you can see, it's not really complicated to create great content outline with through. In a few clicks, you can browse your competitors and create comprehensive content outline for your article. By the way, I only focus today on the content outline, but you know that you can create brief with more elements, including writer directive, SERP analysis, competitor analysis, links, and more elements. I recommend you to watch these different videos popping up here that will explain uh, how to create a content brief with through and as well how to create content brief templates that you can reuse for your different projects and clients. And hopefully now you can create content brief faster.